The Pharisees in the Holy Temple were concerned about how popular King Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, was becoming. And he told the disciples, he stood up in the temple, he told the disciples that they were not to speak in this name anymore. And Simon Peter answered him and said, basically that they could not help but speak in his name. And Gamaliel, one of the top renowned Torah scholars in this temple, said to the rest of the people that respected him that this man, if he is not of God, this will come to nothing. But if he is of God, then you will not be able to stop this or stop him. And you might even find yourself fighting against God himself. So what happened basically is that Gamaliel, you know, I believe he's the one that taught Saul, who became Paul, at his conversion. And he studied under Gamaliel. So what do we have 2,000 years later, during all of the 2,000 years after Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose again on the third day at Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of First Fruits at his resurrection, but we still have the whole world following after him. So that tells you right there that it is of God and that Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua, is of God because none of them nor anybody in the last 2,000 years has been able to stop his testimony. And right there in the Hallel that they were singing at the Passover Seder after they were walking out of the Passover Seder and heading to the Garden of Gethsemane, they were basically singing that Hallel, and the Lord was redeeming them the night of redemption. And nobody's been able to snuff out the light of Christ, of Jesus, the Messiah of Israel. It's pretty exciting to know that even though they were attempting to try to put out his light by saying he wasn't the king, he wasn't the Messiah, he wasn't from the Davidic dynasty, Whatever they said did not prevail, which proves, like from the Hallel, when it said, God has become my Yeshua, my salvation, that he was indeed not only God, but the Messiah who came to redeem us was God himself, it, with his own blood in the flesh to redeem flesh from the curse of Adam and Eve in the garden, so he return to that place to go through all of that as the lamb sacrifice to take us back into the garden of Eden-like state so we could dwell forever with God. So he's coming again to take us to be where he is. I hope this blesses you and that you realize that even after 2,000 years time, it, nobody has stopped speaking in his name. It's only increased, and that is a work of God. Shalom for now.